Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? This week, we've been looking at the way of Jesus is joy. Our theological affirmations have been the way of Jesus is a desire for God's word. The way of Jesus is coming together. And of course, the way of Jesus is joy. I want to share three verses with you and then I'll get into why. Uh, again, our foundational passage for this week has been in Nehemiah chapter 8. I want to encourage you to read it. Psalms 63 verse 1, you, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 6, Jesus said this, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. In John chapter 7, verses 37 and 38, Jesus, on the last day of the festival, stood and with a loud voice, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Now, I shared these verses with you today because we have looked at a desire for God's word, the yearning and longing to fill that place in our souls that can only be filled by God. Are you hungry and thirsty for truth? Come to the well that is Jesus. Do you want to feast and be satisfied? Come to Jesus. We look at how God expects his people to come together this week. Nehemiah chapter 8 tells us on three different occasions that they all came together. We find the disciples in Acts chapter 2 had come together and were in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. And this wasn't a one-time event. This was a lifestyle of being together in Christ Jesus. The community of believers together. We come together because Jesus promises that when two or more of us are gathered together, he's with us. We come together to encourage one another, to learn, and to share both our burdens and our victories. True joy, my friends, is only found in Jesus. When we choose him, he fills us with joy and peace that everyone in life is searching for. Joy is a state of being. It is a gift of God. In my Bible, in my NIV study Bible, there are no less than 247 verses containing the word joy. This doesn't include joyful or joyous. Think about that. Do a search in your own Bible. If you don't have a study Bible, Google search it. God wants you and I to live in his joy and peace. Because the way of Jesus is joy. Now I have to ask you, what are you going to do with what you've been learning this week? What action steps are you going to take? You see, James tells us that faith without works is dead. We have to put shoe leather to what we believe, folks. I pray that as you chew on everything that we've talked about this week, that you'll be inviting the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word. That you'll have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths. And then you will take that step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus. Just remember, we need to ask ourselves, am I in this moment choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? I pray that you will have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.